What is the danger with processed foods? Nowadays, everything is processed, everything is handled, everything is given to us in these plastic packages in all the supermarkets we go to. But Islamically, we learn that your food needs to be the most pure, it needs to be clean, it needs to be processed properly, but not the fake processing that we're getting. There is a hadith that explains there's going to be an abundance of food in the future, but without any blessing in it. And people have come to say, what is that? Me personally, when I think about that, I think of all the fast food that's happening, all the non-halal food that's happening, all the crap that we're eating, the plastic in our food. How much of our meat is 100% real meat? This goes to show that these highly processed and fast foods that we think are so tasty and quick are detrimenting our bodies, are detrimenting our society. Is it in turn something to think about spiritually and aesthetically? Maybe we shouldn't be eating as much fast food. Maybe we shouldn't be eating as much processed food. We're gonna be talking and diving in the dark side of the processed food industry. Spiritually, it makes a lot of sense where we shouldn't be eating crap food because when you eat crap food, your vibrations are lowered. When you eat highly acidic foods, your body gets sick more often. There is a reason for this. When you have highly processed food, sugars, these dyes in our food, all these extra additives that we can't even read or understand what they are, there has to be an issue. There has to be a downside to it. And Islamically, we learn that you have to have foods that are whole, that are authentic, that are clean, that are pure. And that is why there is some sort of debate in where are these processed foods haram or are they impermissible in Islam? Because we're supposed to take care of our bodies. We're supposed to treat our body with care, respect, dignity. But when we ingest and consume these types of foods, it affects us negatively a lot more than we think. Islam encourages quality ingredients. So if Islam is encouraging quality ingredients, all the labels that we read nowadays in the supermarkets, what do we see? So many ingredients that we can't even process, we can't even understand what it is. Is that really a quality ingredient? Do we even know what the ingredient is? If we don't know what the ingredient is, is it a quality ingredient? And this is something to start pondering and question like, okay, how am I eating? What kind of food am I eating? And why am I eating this? But there's a lot of unknown ingredients. Something that I learned when I was younger is gelatin. So pork is haram, but most gelatin is used by pig. But people don't know this. Some of them might say, yeah, I'm vegetarian, but I'm eating these sour gummy worms. But do you realize that the gelatin is made from pig? Some companies actually use beef gelatin, which is halal for us to consume. That's great. That's awesome. You have to read the labels. You have to see things. For example, some certain dyes in Islam are actually just haram because they get it from beetles, but we're not supposed to eat bugs in Islam. So there's so many different types of understanding what ingredients are actually going into our food that we wouldn't even know. Because if you pick up a pack of candy, it, oh, it's just this pack of candy, there's no gelatin in it, perfect. But certain dye could be made out of a beetle. But then how do you know? So when you don't know the ingredients that are in the foods, be very cautious, be very wary. Islam also puts a high amount of effect and energy on our health. We have to take care of our bodies. We have to care about what we're putting inside of our bodies. If it's pure foods that we have to eat and it's healthy foods we have to eat and take care of our body, then you have to think about this. These highly processed foods and they have a lot of sugars and additives most likely aren't the most Islamic thing for us. Another way is understanding the ethical consumption of these meats, of these foods. So when something is ethically done and there's ethical practices going on with it, it's Islamic. There's Islamic law that goes into place. That's why Muslims eat halal food. And anyone who knows anything about the food industry, they know that nowadays the food industry is definitely not ethical. We've all seen those advertisements. We've all seen those videos of that cow getting tipped over and beat up by that one farmer in that one video. But we have to understand that ethically it needs to be done right because that is how you get the best nutrients from your food. Because again, in documentaries I've watched where they're cutting the nails of the cows because then it produces better milk. Go figure. Something that's spiritually and Islamically cohesive is understanding that waste is seen as something that's super negative and extravagance in this extra food. And that is what fast food and these high calorie meals are teaching us. Where it's so many calories, so much food that you're buying and able to throw out because it was so cheap. In turn, that's extravagance, that's wastefulness because food shouldn't be seen that way, where it's just always clean and fresh packaged. There should be some sort of relationship with our food to understand what kind of food we're eating. And then have that relationship is spiritually cohesive and aesthetically cohesive. At the end of the day, everything in moderation, doing the right thing is hard sometimes. And finding food that's out there for us becomes hard. But as much as you can, try to find ethical practices in order to eat your food. Try not to eat as much processed food because it's better for your body, it's better for your health, and aesthetically and spiritually, it's also better for you. So understand that this might be a struggle, it might be a challenge, and understand that with everything you do to better yourself, there's always a reward at the end of it. 
Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, and let me know what you guys thought about this video. It's just something that I thought about the other day, and I was wondering if you guys thought the same or if this kind of posed a question in your head. And if you know anything about the industry or the markets or food, please feel free to leave your expertise in the comments. I would love to read it. Thank you again. I'll see you next week, inshallah. See you later.